Okay, I'm Tom White with the MIDI Manufacturers Association, and we're at the MIDI Makes Music booth at the NAM show. 30 years old, then? Yes, it is. It was invented in 1983 and shown right here at the January NAM show. Okay, can we start that again? My mic was a bit quiet. I okay. I'll, I'll just do an introduction. MIDI's 30 years old. Yes, it is. It was actually demonstrated right here at the January NAM show in 1983. We've got some pictures of the original stuff, right? Yes, we do. And the actual original keyboards, too. These same two models. Here's a picture right there from the show. And here's the same two models, a Sequential Circuits Prophet 600 and a Jupiter 6, and they still work, still connected by MIDI. Just as out of tune as ever? Absolutely. Analog synthesis, it's a wonderful thing. So what's the purpose of this stand then, really? What's the kind of, what are you doing here? We actually wanted to show the entire history of MIDI, how it began and where it's progressed today, and then talk about why it's so important. So here, for example, are a couple of other products. Here's an Atari 10, 1040 ST. I used to have this exact set. Many people come up to us and say that, and this is the rack version of the DX7, of yeah. course, which Yamaha I'm produced, and everybody had one of those, too. I wish I'd never sold mine. Absolutely. Well, you can buy this one. Can I? <laughs> no. So... <laughs> So when the computers adapted MIDI was one of the most significant changes because then we had sequencing and that was actually the whole point of MIDI is you could connect them to a computer. And we wanted to show how today this is where MIDI is at. These are digital drums, yep. which of course support MIDI. This is a sequential circuits new company, Dave Smith's Instruments. Ah, uh, the X4? Yep. So this is the same developer, but now this is his modern products. We have a Gibson MIDI guitar, which is totally robotic and has a MIDI interface on it. Yamaha's Tenorion, which is a MIDI device, totally new instrument. And I then... Saw, I did, I'll tell you what I did see over here is the Commodore looked really cool. Absolutely, we can, absolutely, let's go see the Commodore. So this is a Commodore 64 hooked up to an iPad, which of course is 1983 and 2013. Wow, is that the original color or is it just faded? It's actually faded, it's just gotten old. Oh, look at that, the screen's gone bad too. Just like the original. Old technology, and there's your iPad and it's running oh, an so iRig running. MIDI interface, yep. Ah. Okay, so it's a sequential circuits MIDI interface, and it still works today after 30 years. So, I mean, 30 years is a long time for any kind of protocol. I mean, what's next? We are working on new stuff, but we actually really want now, we want to show people that it's still innovating. Uh, MIDI is still innovative itself. Is there a kind of bullet point of what you want to, what, what's at the top of the list for, for, that, for a new spec that, with MIDI? New spec with MIDI, probably easier to connect. I think one of the big, biggest problems with MIDI today is that it still requires a lot of knowledge to be able to configure the systems. So something new has to be more plug and play. And what about uh, resolution? Kind of could Higher resolution is kind of obvious because you know back in 1983, 8 bits was a lot of data and it was very hard to do. But today we have 64-bit and 128-bit data all the time. And, I mean, are there any limitations? I mean, obviously some of the older MIDI interfaces might not be able to handle 16 channels of full res. Yeah, I think what we'll have to do is use a different connector, which means uh, we'll have to find some way to make products backwards compatible. And it'll be a transition. This, it's, nothing's going to replace MIDI. That's part of the message of the, of the booth. 30 years is not going to go away. But you can imagine, as you're suggesting, that within 10 or 15 years, it'll start to look kind of old, and we'll have to have something new. And what about the tra transport protocol? Because obviously it's going over USB, it's going over all sorts Exactly. Of things. It's already migrated to every high-speed transport. And probably if we did something new, it would be on some more high-speed transport, Ethernet, USB. Ethernet would be great, actually. Wi-Fi. Many people think so, yes, and Wi-Fi. Although this, you know, one of the things about MIDI, the reason it's lasted 30 years is because it's a closed system. Nothing else can get on that cable but the MIDI data. Wi-Fi, all kinds of things can get on that same connection, and it does cause problems. So how are you going to protect the kind of MIDI legacy? Because, I mean, the trick is, obviously, everybody's going, oh, can it do this? Can you make it do that? I mean, you could easily kind of go too far and make it over. Exactly. Whatever we do has to be very much like MIDI so people understand it. It has to operate in the same way. It has to be presented and marketed the same manner, which means totally free, but the whole industry owns it and can actually do whatever they need to do with it. Um, but I think we'll actually have to keep we'll actually have to keep MIDI going. That's the bottom line is if we do something new, it's, it won't replace MIDI. It'll complement MIDI. Because it's not just audio, is it? And MIDI, I mean, MIDI's used MIDI's for in everything, and, exactly. It's, it's already in everything, and that's one of the reasons why people continue to use it, is because they know they can manufacture a product, and it will work with everything that's already out there. So have you got any kind of roadmap, timescale, that you can uh, let slip any dates with, uh, roughly where you're heading, when? I, I can, but it just shows how incompetent we are, because we've been, <laughs> we've been talking about this for about five years, and we still have another year or so to go. So are you, are you working with big manufacturers to try and make, you know, to try yes. and make sure that it's something they can manufacture yes. to as well? Yes, exactly. exactly. Right. Okay. So, uh, okay, well, um, happy birthday. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming to our party.